This is what happens when you call the ombudsman. What do you do when you, when you get a serious report like this? What do you do when you get a serious report like this? And it's the second time he was in another uh, jail in Walkerton in a four by four cell, non disciplinary, also for six okay. days. But what I've explained to you is. And he's been incarcerated for 90 days without cause. The facility can place people in administrative segregation for various reasons, and it can be for their own safety. And with no yard. Okay. And, and, and that I'm they don't have to check on the mental about, health. And, and they don't have to monitor the mental health. Please listen to what I'm saying. And if someone has a concern about no access to yard, basically the policy says if you don't have yard for a period of five days, you can see health care. That's what the policy you says. You can see what? Health care. He can see health care if they choose to let him have it. And also, generally what our office does if we get a complaint that people don't have access to yard, we refer them to the internal complaint process, which is to the superintendent. Yeah. But we're not able to speak with this individual. He hasn't called here. You're calling on his behalf. Because he couldn't call out. He's had certain documents removed. What yes. documents were those? He has personal diary notes, 90 pages removed. He had his questions for court this morning removed and other legal documents like his case law references and all that sort of thing removed and he was denied access to his court-appointed assistant. Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am, uh, this is another person that you're speaking with, and I'm just wondering if I PDF you the complaints from this gentleman as he just uh, communicated with us approximately about an hour ago from jail and we recorded it, if I put that on a PDF, could you, would I, could I send it to you and what's your name? You can send it to us, but we will try to call him to verify whatever information. That's fine. That's fine. I'm certain that if you, the ombudsman's office calls, they might allow him to take that call. Okay. You want my email address? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's Y. Yes. Peggy H E. Yes. G G I E. Yes. At ombudsman. Yes. Dot dot and that's your name? My name is Yvonne Heggie. Yes. Thank you very much, Yvonne. And please look for that in the next hour. I will be sending that to you by a PDF file. Thank you. Okay. And here's what I can say to you. Yes. So I've taken this complaint. As I said before, we would need to speak with him. We can't. Make we want you to. We want you to do that. Okay. So I'll. I'll consult here to see if we would even call him. Generally, the issues you've raised, we would refer to the internal complaint process, but I can probably try and speak with this individual. I can also try to get some uh, information in writing and correspond with the internal people if that is what you wish. I would like to do both complaints and send it also the PDF to you, okay? Okay, and who are you? Who am I speaking with? My name is Lillian Christine Sorko Hool, and I am a member of Canada Core Watch and also the founder of Voices of Innocent Families in Ontario. Andre Marin should be very, um, he, he, he should know of me. Let's just put it this way. Canada Court Watch? That is correct. And sorry, I didn't get how to, what it's is your last name? It's Voices of Innocent Families in Ontario, and my name is Lillian Christine. Lillian Christine? That is correct. Last name? Sorko, S-O-R-K-O. Okay. Okay, I'll watch for the information, and I'll consult to see if we would try and contact this individual. Thank you, Yvonne. I appreciate your help. Okay, thank you. Bye. Changed tune when I came out here. Is that a recording? Who's that recording to now? Shane, who's that recording to? Yvonne Hagee. Yvonne Hagee of the Ombudsman. Yeah, so it's C-A. You missed it. Mr. Wood. He called the Ombudsman. Oh, yeah? Yeah.